Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and how to create a jagged, broken apart line very quickly using the path raise tool. Now I'm using 221, same approach, earlier versions as well. So let's just select that and remove. So first thing to do, go over to the line segment tool. Line segment tool and just create a quick line. Now I'm just going to go for black so you can see it. Also you can set the stroke and all those sorts of things. You can also, of course, set width profile and you can still use the path razor. So where's the path razor? Well, the path razor is over here. So there's the path razor, just below the shape tool, etc. smooth tool, path razor tool. And what you can do, you can just go over the line. You can see a line there and you can just, just simply drag along. And you don't have to be exactly on top of the line, but close to it. And you can, Probably best to actually use the navigator. So you can go over navigator, obviously window and navigator. You can zoom in a bit because sometimes it's probably easier just to zoom in. So just go in and you just see you can really break down the, the line. Just create very, very tiny, just subtle. And you can break the whole part. And you don't have to break the whole particles. You could leave some of it untouched. So once you've done that, you can see now what you've got. You've got individual paths. And what you can do with individual parts, you can recolor them. So let's just go up to here and say maybe turn that to red. And use the stroke. Quite often I go and try and use the fill. That is not so useful. So you want to select there and set the color there. Now to create a jagged part, again, just simply just select that design, just select there. Just select, select. And you don't have to have, of course, you can move it slightly as long as you've got that selected so you can Select it, and you can just quite very, very quick. And of course, you can always duplicate it. You don't have to. You can always hold the Alt or Option key. So to be honest, you have to go zoom in, and it's a bit fiddly because it will always try and rotate the thing for you. Yeah, so you can create it. <laughs> it is fiddly. You have to definitely zoom in on those ones. And you can again hold down the Alt or Option key if you want, or simply move the design, and you can create all kinds of sort of jagged, sort of broken paths. Very quick and easy. And of course, once you've done that, let's just again zoom out. So you've got your design, and you probably best thing to do is always go to object and group. And you can see that. Let's just get rid of those. You've got over here in the layers. The layers panel is super useful when it comes to this. So window and layers. You can all the paths obviously are broken there, and you can move that around. And of course, once you've done that, you can apply effects to it. So effect maybe stylize, maybe go for drop shadow, and you can add a drop shadow there. So you've got your nice sort of jagged design, and you can hold down the ultra option key, of course, and duplicate that design. Or maybe, if you want, you can select that. You've got this design selected. What you can do, you can go to maybe object and transform, transform each. Now, because it's all one part of a, the, you see it's all part of a group, the whole thing will move around. So if you want to, you can always go to object, ungroup, object ungroup, so they're all broken apart, and now as individual ones, you can then go to object transform and transform each, and you can break it apart even more to create a jagged design. Now, you might want to create it on a line. So that's, actually, let's just go back. I'll just go all the way back. I'm just gonna go all the way back to the, the, the single lines. Let's just go to the single, because you can also, I just suddenly thought, you know what, you can use that as well. So you've got all that design there, long as it's ungrouped, yep, it's all ungrouped. You can see there, no part of a group. That's a key thing. Object, transform, transform each. And you can see now I'm just scaling those. Well, I don't want that. What I want is 100%, 100%. But also, I don't want the angle. So they're all there. And what you can do, you can set this to, let's say, move zero. And you can see then you've got a jagged line there. So you can make it two. So it's three. So you can just... Just obviously, you just and because it's got random there, you got that's the key thing. Random, you can see the jagged line there, and you can just make it as jagged or or as wobbly and backwards and forwards as you like, and then simply click OK. And you can always cause object transform transform again, object transform again, and you can see you can create sort of these designs, and you can of course select all those, and you can of course hold down the ultra option key. Lots of multiple copies of this design, and then of course you can select all of them, and you can go to object and transform again. Well, next time it doesn't work. 
Well, what you can do, object again, transform each. Obviously, because I've just done. So, because I've done, as soon as you do a move and things, of course, that disrupts the thing. So you have to go back to the transform each. And then you can apply this again. You can see, right, you can create all kinds of different random, I obviously can push it too far. And you can also, if you want, you can add a little bit of move so it sort of pushes them all together randomly. Perfectly reasonable as well. And then you can see there. And then, of course, again, you can do transform again if you want. So you can create your sort of jagged lines very quick and easy. And of course, they're all still selectable like that. And you can always like group them again if you want to group the whole lot or change the colors. Make sure you change the right one, not the fill, which is something I always do. And you can, of course, also, if you want, you can select all of them. You can always then go to up here. You've got width profile. So you can actually set width profile to them. So you can create some very oddball designs. My apologies, the neighbors are doing some work next door. So they're doing some drilling. So uh, that's one of those things that uh, you could probably hear it on the mic. My apologies for that. And you can see you can create some interesting designs, jagged designs, which again can still be object transform each because I've just done transform. It will. And you can still, so you can jiggle it up and down, move them like that, and create some interesting sort of jagged line designs or whatever you want to call it, sort of up and down designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always any new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, comments, always appreciated. That's, uh, you know, maybe I've done something wrong, maybe I've done something right. Please let me know in the comments. Or maybe if you think, you know what? You can do it even quicker or easier by doing this, and I'm certain you can. Of course, you could also set up actions to do this. Window actions, super useful as well for this. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated, whichever way. Thank you much.